Hey, my what's going on? Oh, no, what's going on? It's time. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh, I gotta talk that time. <laughs> we all call this when it's 201. That's why y'all can't understand what I'm saying to you. You hear what I'm saying? Come on over here, I'll help you out with that rudiment. Fast truck roll. Ah! Let's go! Alright. Uh, four stroke roll. I just put up the 101. Here's the 201 because this one's kind of. Uh, it's just a little different. It's kind of hard to understand to the new mind <laughs> why is this a rudiment? Really, because I thought the same thing. I'm like, well, why, why is this a rudiment? This is stupid. So, no matter what, it's a rudiment. You might get asked to play it sometime in a tryout or whatever. But other than that, it's probably going to end up in a piece of music that you play most definitely. Okay? It was used a lot in old school military music when the, when the drums were being used in the military, when you had things like the Connecticut Halftime, the Downfall of Paris... Which, if you don't know what those are, that's why I mentioned them. Look them up. You know what I'm saying? So, here's a couple of exercises. How do you like the way I put my drum on the stand? Oh, hey, there's a. Oh, yeah. yeah one thing about these Gibraltar stands, they have this thing, and, and it. Ooh, it goes this way, though. Alright, anyway, I'm trying to see where's the angle that I had it at. Uh, no, that's alright. Anyway, to help you with your four stroke roll, here's a couple of things you can do. Alright, I, I changed the drums on this so I can play it uh, a little bit faster from the 101. Remember, it was on the clear drum. It's on this just because it sounds better. This, this one's got a really nice snare sound. I'm still using. A, uh, I'm, I'm actually, let's see, it looks like I'm using one of them heads that's got oil in between. Which I don't know what that's called. It's a clear drum head. So, four stroke roll. Now watch what my sticks do as I'm practicing it. Just watch, just watch what I'm doing, alright? You notice all this time in the air that I'm always talking about, all right? Here's something that can help you with that, okay? I had a really big problem with what are my hands doing? Here is something completely off the chain that will help. There's a hair there. What's, am I losing hair? Here's something that will really help you with that, okay? When you play this and you have this motion in the air where all you're doing is this why am I doing this when I can go instead of you know it seems like a lot of wasted motion to the untrained eye and actually it's not it's about ease of motion and it's about quality of sound. That we'll get into later. But in order to get to do it like that, you know this, do this. Back up a little bit from your drum, which is hard for me to do because it is door, and then put your head down towards the drum. You see how here I'm standing here, and I'm, you know, and I'm here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get down about this far from the drum. Here's the drumstick. Now I'm just showing you something for reference, okay? Now, I'm not where I'm going to hit myself in the face, all right? My head is about to here, right right about the rim, okay? And then do it. <laughs> now, why do I do that? I don't know why I started that, really. Ah, hmm. oh, I know why now. Here's why. When you do it sideways, let me see if I can move this here. 
and get everything. Don't talk about my pink drum, okay? Here's what it looks like this way. Ready? Okay, now you see how much movement this is, all right? Right? All right? Now, if I back up a little bit and I move my head down, now watch what happens. I don't know what's going to happen because I've never done this before, but let's see, okay? Let's see what happens. Okay, what happens is, is, see where my elbows are? Look how far they are from my body. I'm taking away this much movement from when I go here, okay? But at the same time, I'm training the deltoids here what to do and how this feels, okay? You know the deltoids? It's this muscle up here, anterior, medial, posterior, deltoid. The shoulder thing, I don't know if I've got any muscle up there, but this. This is used in the drum also and in playing, all right? So by bending your head down, you train your mind to accept the fact that that muscle is used in playing. Sort of like power walking, you know? If you're power walking, let's just say, and you put your head down, it feels a lot different. It feels more comfortable. And as you get more used to it, you can just raise, excuse me, raise your head a little bit, raise your head a little bit, and raise your head a little bit, and you'll get to that point. All right? And that sort of movement is very important to the four-stroke roll in order to get it to... All right? It may seem like, what does that have to do with it? It does. Okay? So, for an exercise to work on that rudiment, I, um, I started doing this one. And if that sounds familiar, which I thought it did to me, I started looking it up and I was like, that's Stranglehold by Ted Nugent. Huh? I'm just saying. So, when you get it faster... Switch over to the left and try it. And I noticed that wasn't as smooth as the other side, but maybe that's because I maybe need to work on that a little bit. So, just a couple of uh, things for you to work on for the uh, four-stroke roll. And uh, I hope you all could understand that everything I'm saying in this video right here. Because I'll talk to you on this video and I remember what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, remember, have fun with it and it's just drums. Talk to y'all later. If I can find this button, I'll cut that video off. Holla. That'll play. Well, you see him in the street.